Hey, welcome back to Matt's Garage DIY. Today we're going to put some peep sights on the Marlin Model 60. So about 70 years ago, the US military started switching all their open sights for peep sights or aperture sights, and with good reason. Better accuracy and quick target acquisition. If you haven't tried peep sights, you're going to want to. They are a game changer. Today, we're not really going to debate the ins and outs of peep sights versus open sights. I'm convinced and I'm going to install a set on my Marlin and that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. I picked these up from Tech Sites. If you live in Canada, Tech Sites doesn't ship to Canada, but I will post a link for a company that does. So we're going to throw these on, then I'll take this out to the farm and we're going to do a little bit of shooting. Here's a quick look at the sites that we're going to be using. Again, I mentioned Tech Sites. So they call this the GI type aperture site for the Marlin Model 60 and 795. Before you start working on any firearm, you want to make sure that it's empty. In this case, I've removed the magazine to block the action back. I've taken a look, the gun is empty, the gun is safe to start work. You notice I have the rifle supported in a little gun rest. There's a link above if you want to make yourself one of those. Very handy to do any sort of work along the top of your rifle. So let's take a look at the front sight first. First off, here's the replacement sight. You can see the shields on either side as well. There's a small screw in the end, set screw in the end. Comes with a little Allen key as well as a new screw to attach this onto the barrel. You use this little Allen key, loosen that off, and that is how you can raise or lower your front sight post to make any kind of adjustments you need to tighten that back up. All right, remove the front sight, held on by a single slotted screw. Just turn that out. This just lifts off. Put the new sight on with the screw that it comes with. It does recommend uh, either some lower medium strength Loctite. I've got a little bit of blue Loctite, which is medium strength. Going to put a little dab of that on. There you go. Probably going to be easiest if I drop the screw in to get this all lined up. So drop my screw in and sort of set this on. There you go. Screw has now found the hole, so I'm just going to tighten this back up. All right, snug that up. Front sight is on. All right, time for the rear sight. Quick look, here's the rear sight. Looking on the bottom, this is the portion that clamps the dovetail. Right away I can see nice big solid bolt going through there. I have had some sights where it's just a couple little Allen keys. Always leaves me wondering how secure that is. This initially looking very good. So I'm going to put that on. Okay, so I've got that on the dovetail. I'm going to slide this back as far as I can while, while still gripping. You do, with an aperture sight, want that to be as close to your eye as possible. So I'm going to slide that all the way back to about there, so you can see that, and then just tighten this up. Make sure that's good and tight. There you go, installed. So if we take a closer look at the installed sight, right below the aperture or the peep, a little dial, that controls elevation or gives you elevation adjustment. Each click is an eighth inch at 20 yards or five eighths of an inch at 100. And then on the side, windage, again, each click, one eighth at 20 yards, five eighths of an inch at 100 yards. Last thing I'm gonna do is remove this rear open sight. The peep or aperture sight does work uh, with that being left in place. I just took a look through, you can clearly see all the way through. I'm just gonna take that off because I think it's just gonna provide a little bit of a cleaner look. Using a bit of a block of wood, you can just tap that out. Okay. All right, let's head to the farm and do some shooting. All right, back out at the farm. Got the aperture peep sights on. Just gonna go through a couple fun shoots, show you uh, the accuracy and kind of target acquisition you can get from these. But first up, 20 yards from the bench. All right, next up we're gonna do a bit of target acquisition. Went to the grocery store, picked up a little six pack of club soda. These are the mini cans, so they're about an inch and a half wide, uh, three inches tall. I'm just gonna spread them out at the backstop there. Uh, not gonna just shoot them all in a row, gonna try to 
move around as I shoot them just so that I have to, you know, kind of pick up or acquire those targets. So we'll do this from standing and see how that turns out. All right, back this up to 50 yards. I put three more of the cans up. Figure that 20 to 50 yard range, any kind of small game that you're going to be trying to shoot with a 22, that's probably a good idea of how far you're going to be. So let's see how this goes. Four for three, three for four, however you want to say that. Anyway, it's not too bad. I did pull the one shot, but uh, yeah, still standing 50 yards. You can easily hit that three inch by inch and a half target with these open sights. Being that we're out here, let's push this to 100. All right, we're out 100 yards. Let's start with some quick target acquisition. Not too bad. Not quite the little tiny pop cans we were shooting at, but easily hit that nice sight picture. So if you're shooting rabbits or something that size, these sights will get the trick done at 100 yards. All right, I got a six inch gong down there. Let's try putting a few rounds on that. All right, there you have it. It's been another fun day shooting out at the farm. Uh, peep sights on the Marlin Model 60. As you can see, great target acquisition, great accuracy, whole lot of pluses. I can't really think any minuses. Super easy and quick to install. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't tried sights like these, I think you'll want them on your Marlin. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click that like and subscribe button and stay tuned for my next video. We'll see you on the next one.